Hi guys, I'm Tati Gabrielle and this is In The Hype. I would find all the people in the world that need it more than I do. Um, Cause like even with my even with like the money that I have now, like I don't feel comfortable all the time like having all of this money for myself. So it's like I'll like binge on my family or on my friends. Like, shameless. I was very late to Shameless, so like I just like I saw, I like started binging it like December I think November December. I am now on season six I think almost on season seven yeah. Yeah. Um, I would either be a marine biologist or a criminal profiler. Um, yeah, two very different things. <laughs> big, big on quality time. Um, and like, uh, I'm big on like, like sentimental gift giving. Um, so not something like big and extravagant, but something like very specific. So like, I take a lot of time to give gifts. Oh, see, I'm a sneakerhead without being like a proper sneakerhead because it's like I won't necessarily like go for the drops or like the like I don't know, but it's like if I see a fly shit, like I wear mostly sneakers, like sneakers, latches. I'm actually on a big Crocs thing right now. I've got like nine pairs of Crocs. Like it's getting a little mad, but <laughs> like, yeah. You can't have any Crocs. Like they're the most comfortable thing in the world. They're so cool. Man, people don't sleep on the Crocs. <laughs> Eartha Kitt, um, since I was a kid, Eartha Kitt. Um, just like the, the magnetism that she had as a woman and like the power and confidence that she held, like it's something that I always, I was like, when I grow up, I want to be like that. My favorite order, so I've watched it twice now, like because I wanted to play the game, like since I read the scripts, I wanted to play the game. <laughs> like I was like, I, I, gotta, I gotta see how this, and from like a, I want to produce and direct myself. So like from that standpoint, I wanted to learn. Um, but my favorite order is the rainbow order which would be red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet, pink, white. To me, like just for my brain, it, it sets up the understanding of the characters in a way. And because like Eric intended for, Eric Garcia, like showrunner intended to be a, a character driven piece, like though it's about a heist, like it's why this, ha this heist is happening is, born from the lives and emotions of these characters. And I feel like the Rainbow Order sets it up in a way that like really, I don't know, makes you understand those characters and not just look at it as a heist. Um, yeah, yeah, that's, I don't even know if I, I feel like I don't know if I explained that right. <laughs> well, first of all, it's like already like the new approach of this season is like, it's like a whodunit. It's like, instead of like our typical, like, you know, we're seeing, Joe doing all the things. It's like, oh, Joe's looking for somebody, what? Um, and like, just the twist of it all is like sick. Like Sarah Gamble, I'm like, she is one of my idols as just like a, a writer and like, just like her ability to top herself every season, like, and change up what could have gotten old very quickly. Like a dude that goes around killing people and is obsessed with women. Like, no, 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 no. <laughs> I wish I could talk more about this season and like, re like I will, I cannot wait for people to see it. Like, it's different, like in the best way. Yeah, and so I hope people really enjoy it.